in the previous section we have seen how to delete a created users or data in this lecture we'll see how to update the created values or modify them so uh, we'll see update view we have seen list view detail view and delete view so if we'll put yes it will delete the object fine so now we'll see how to update this if you want to update and if you have mistaken anything so let's see how to means uh, go through the update view so for that we need to define our view and let me make you very clear that uh, update view is the combination of book detail view and the create view so how let's see uh, first of all uh, let me define update book uh, request and uh, as we have seen in the create view we need to pass id explicitly so okay fine and uh, we'll first get the object of id to make the understand uh, i'll put it over here object okay fine so after we need to copy the form because uh, we need okay we will copy the form okay fine and to make the django understand that which record we have to update and uh, which data uh, it will bring into the form by default so that for that we need to pass the instance instance equals to object why we need to pass this obj instance because if we want to update the particular record and uh, we have we need to fill the records by default so that uh, we need to pass the instance over here what is this instance it will be the object what is this obj obj will be the id which is fetched from the this id okay fine so fair enough and after that we need to pass the context explicitly so context is equal to we need to first obj is equal to object uh, obj and uh, we need to pass form as well so form is equal to form fair enough and after that we need to check the if form is valid or not if form is valid obj is equal to form dot save commit equal to false to save the entries into the database so fair enough and uh, commit is equal to false fine and obj dot save great so this is where we save the data in the database and uh, we need to pass the template template is equal to uh, update update book dot html html and uh, i want to redirect this page when we when i click on the update button after the updation then i want to redirect the page into the list view or detail view wherever you want to redirect your page so i'll return over here return render sorry not render but it's http response redirect this is used for the redirection of the page and uh, response redirect i want to redirect over book slash num and what is num is what this num is num will be the format of num equal to obj dot id so this is how we can redirect the page over the id which we have updated recently so this is what you can uh, write on your own project so that um, uh, we can uh, more specifically what is num i want to go to the book and uh, id of the same book so i fetch the id from the obj which is uh, the model which we have declared and uh, dot id so this is the unique id of that book so it will redirect to the page and last but not least return render 
and request after that template and context as well fine fair enough so to display the view in the web browser we need to define a template over here new file i am making and save it first of all update underscore book dot html uh, excuse me it should be update not up there uh, okay fine we will be spelling mistakes sorry uh, okay so we need to specify h1 in the update view in the update view okay fair enough and uh, fine it's uh, so after that we need to define form in the form uh, method is equal to post action equal to none as of now whenever you use post you need to define the csrf token csrf to encrypt the form csrf token okay fine and uh, after that csrf token and uh, okay csrf token so after that you need to specify your form so let's make a form form dot as underscore p just like in the create view we have declared it as already so if you need to check it over here you can check it over here so fine so after that for the i'm pasting it over here and I change the value to submit to the update update i am changing to the file so submit i'm changing to the update okay fine so okay so this is fine and uh, we need to define our url over here uh, update i am specifying it to update and uh, update book here as well okay fine and uh, update here also okay so let's check it make sure your server is running yes it's up make sure your server is running and it's make sure uh, okay fine and, uh, let's check it once in the update okay we got some error template reference before submit okay uh we got the error from here okay in this lecture we have seen how to update the created values and how to change it or modify it if it is required in the next topic we'll see how to use bootstrap what is bootstrap and how to use bootstrap in our django templates